Hi, this is Sasha from theautismhelper.com, and this is a product preview of my interactive math workbook, Level 1. So I made three different levels of interactive math workbooks that could be utilized for a lot of different, in a lot of different ways. So I gave some instructions on setup and uses. I think these would be great for previously mastered skills, for teaching new concepts. This would be a great center run by a paraprofessional. It would be great independent work if these skills were already mastered. So I really envisioned using this in a lot of different ways. So these are similar to file folder activities. You could set them up as that if you'd like, or you could put them all together in one binder or different pages to go in work bins. Again, the variety is really up to you. So every page is interactive to give a really hands-on approach to math. So level one focuses on mostly matching, counting, and basic sorting. So I wanted to have a range of activities that would really expand the different levels of math activities within this one section. So the first up is sorting pennies and nickels. So fronts and backs of different pennies and nickels. So just looking at the two different coins. Next is dimes and quarters. So they'll really be attending mostly to the size when they're doing this since this is our lowest level workbook. And next is matching the coins. I really love this one that there's a lot on one page. This isn't giving me something they fly through. They really have to attend. And make sure they're matching the fronts and the backs correctly. So really building that attention when working on a matching task is so key. Next, count and match. So count the items and then match the number. Another count and match. Count the items and match the number with the number word. And then this is sorting the numbers. Again, this is a really great one to just work on building those number awareness skills. So here's one, two, three, and four, and then all of the different number pieces with all different fonts. So we really want to incorporate teaching multiple exemplars in our teaching sessions. This is something I talk about all the time on my website. But a two is a two, whether it looks like this or it looks like this. So this is a great way to incorporate multiple exemplar training right into your work tasks. So the next one is similar, five through eight, with the different numbers. And next up are some tracing pages. So tracing numbers one through 20, tracing the number words. So I laminate these and use dry erase markers. It works perfectly. You could also use them as worksheets. Next is matching the clocks. So the clocks are exactly the same They with on, for the pieces. They don't have to know how to tell time. But just looking at attending to where the dial hand is, is going to start to get them ready for telling time later and get that kind of clock awareness. So next is matching the numbers on the clock. So again, working on that clock awareness skill. that They're going to be matching the different numbers around the clock. And next run sorting shapes. So putting all the things that are rectangles and all the things that are circles. So kind of those advanced sort, um, uh, sorting skills. Next is tracing the shapes. Matching the shapes, again, putting a lot of matching pieces, all the same color on one page, so they really have to attend. And then matching the patterns, so matching the AB, AB pattern. Um, again, this was the um, level one math workbook, so focusing mostly on counting, sorting, matching, but with these different math skills. So with shapes, with clock, with money, with numbers. So really starting these foundational skills in a way that's really interactive and structured is going to be most successful. Thanks for watching from theautismhelper.com.